Hello friends, good afternoon, welcome to another video, hope you are having a good day. So friends, Zebi got listed yesterday and it was great listing, people have made more than 5x gain who bought into Zebi's ICO. Yesterday I also made a video, you know, when to buy Zebi, what is the uh, good entry point. So in this video guys, I will talk about Zebi's value proposition. So what kind of problems, you know, Zebi is trying to solve and also will try to compare Zebi with other traditional big data companies and will try to, you know, speculate the future price prediction of Zebi token. So guys, if you're looking for detailed uh, review of Zebi, you can go back and watch my video, which I made back in February when I started my channel. And you can have a look at the team and the products like Zebi Chain and Zebi Data Gateway. So I have covered in detailed manner. You can go back and watch. So basically, guys, big data is a, uh, sorry, uh, Zebi is a big data company. Uh, started three years ago as a traditional big data company and they saw the opportunity, the value of the blockchain and then they finally moved to uh, blockchain and integrated their solutions using blockchain technology. So I would say Zebi is the perfect example of real world use case of blockchain and I'm really happy that companies like Zebi is taking uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency beyond a speculate, a speculation. Because at this point of time, most of the cryptocurrencies are running on speculations and people are jumping in and speculating and trying to get rich in short time. But I believe and I think Zebi is actually trying to solve some serious problems we have at this time. And I think Zebi will help blockchain to go one step forward towards mainstream adoption. So if I talk about big data company, there are many companies like IBM, EMC, Teradata, SAP, Oracle. So these are some big companies across the globe and they are operating as a traditional big data company. But when it comes to decentralized big data and if I compare with traditional big data, there are some serious problems. If you go back to traditional uh, database management tools, there are some problems like security and privacy. And in most cases, the insiders, the, the company, you know, who handle these kind of data, they get involved, you know, in manipulating the data, in tampering data, and we have seen it many times. Here comes the blockchain. So what blo blockchain does? So if you are using blockchain, it is hack proof, it is immutable, and it makes it tamper proof. So Z Zebi saw the value and Zebi recognized that, okay, let's use the blockchain rather than using traditional uh, system. So Zebi has many partnerships like yesterday I uh, made a video that they have a partnership with some hotels and they are uh, managing the, the records of the guests. So normally, you know, what happens in hotels across India, we have, I mean, hotels have to keep the records of the guests and have to provide to respective police station. And this is a manual process, time taking and very lengthy. However, Zebi is providing its solutions, Zebi chain, where police can verify and other respective agencies can verify at one click. So this is a real world use case. If I talk about the uh, Zebi's uh, blockchain, so basically at this point of time, Zebi has its own private blockchain. However, they are building the, uh, you know, public blockchain like Bitcoin and others. And I think they will roll it out in future. And if I talk about the uh, utility of the Zebi tokens, because 
when it comes to utility, I'm very particular and I'm very serious because it's not a security. We are not buying stocks. We are buying utility tokens. So utility means there has to be some use. It's not, you know, it shouldn't be a money grab. It shouldn't be uh, another, uh, you know, number, number of coin because there are 1,500, 1,600 coins currently uh, in market if you go and look at the coin market cap.com. So it shouldn't be a, just a number. It should be, a, you know, there has to be some use cases. So basically, uh, the utility of Zebi token is very clear and it's easy to understand. So if you're using any product, any service of Zebi, if you want to buy, you have to buy in Zebi tokens. And there is a data protection. So if you want to protect your data, large sum of data, you know, if I talk about Andhra Pradesh government, actually they have bought the Zebi solutions to protect their data and they have to pay in Zebi tokens. There is some transaction fees that should be paid in Zebi token. And the most important part is data access fees. So what happens, you know, the, the data uh, service provider or, you know, data requester. So if I talk about banks, so let's say you have, uh, you're buying a land, right? And you need, you need a loan. So you will go to bank and uh, submit your files and all the necessary documents to get the loan. However, bank has its own process. They verify the data and, and then uh, finally they provide you with the loan. So in this case, bank is again a data uh, requester. Uh, he, you know, they want to access the data and they have to pay the fees in Zebi uh, token. So these are some clear use cases, uh, some utility of the Zebi tokens. If I talk about the competition, so th there is no competition at all in India at the moment. I don't see any company using blockchain solutions. There are many companies in big data field in India and in across the globe. However, on blockchain, it's very niche and I think it has the first mover advantage. If I talk about some other uh, solutions, you know, there are a uh, lot of lot of data, you know, being generated every day in India or in across the globe. And if I talk about some sensitive data, you know, like land records or uh, your identity records, like passports and, and these sort of documents. And in India, there is a growing uh, pain and growing problem when it comes to property dealings because we have seen many times there is a land and that land is on the name of very you know various people rather than being on one person's name and you know people manipulate it and there are many cases you know pending in the court in regards to the property dealings however zebi chain provides solutions and it is immutable you cannot manipulate you cannot tamper the data and somehow it is it is providing a peace of mind to the land buyers or sellers. And similar kind of solutions is, you know, Zebi is in talk with sim providing similar kind of solutions to uh, United Kingdom and Africa. So there are some talks going on and there will be some news. So these are some value propositions, guys, uh, because, you know, if I look at Zebi, I see it beyond the uh, speculations and I think from a traditional market point of view like stock market point of view because it has real products and it is delivering already zebi chain is in live production at this point of time so let's talk about some other big data companies and try to speculate the future price so here i have listed some some of the uh, big companies uh, operating into big data space so if you look at here ibm HP, Teradata, EMC, Oracle. So Oracle is again a great company and interestingly, uh, Zebi's uh, MD and founder, Mr. Mungala, he has worked with, with uh, Oracle. Let me pull that for you. So he has some great uh, track records working with uh, large cap companies, blue chip companies. If you look at here, he has worked as a director of software development in, uh, at Oracle for 18 years. So it's great experience, you know, working at 
one single company for 18 years is big. We cannot even imagine, you know, working like 10 years, 15 years, because normally what happens, people work for one, two, three years, or maybe five years. But this guy has worked for 18 plus years. And with a company like Oracle, so Oracle again operates in same space, big data. And if I look at the market cap of Oracle, it is $185 billion. So it's giant. If I look at Zebi, it is like peanuts against Oracle or IBM. It's currently trading around 50 million. 50, 55 million dollar, which is nothing. Let's not compare with giant, with big companies. If, if I take a look at the smaller one like EMC, EMC Corporation, this is trading around 562 million dollar. Again, it is more than 10 times valued than the Zebi. Again, if I talk about Teradata, Teradata is valued at 4 billion. Because we do not have any be benchmark for, uh, you know, in crypto space to to take out the valuation for Zebi, I'm taking uh, some big names from traditional market and trying to see where Zebi fits. So guys, I would, if Zebi delivers like they have promised, if I look at their roadmap, let me quickly have a look. So yeah, if I look at the roadmap, they have quite busy roadmap. And if they deliver as per their roadmap, I think sky is the limit. And I truly believe in the team and the pro product they have and they, uh, the kind of uh, you know, expansion they are planning in future. And they have talked with various government agen agencies across the world. Because initially they thought of you know, uh, providing their solutions just for India. But now there is, I see there is huge demand for Zebi across the globe. So I think we are in the right coin and we have bought it at the right price. If we have long term view, again, it's not a financial advice, guys. I'm just the YouTuber trying to share his knowledge. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't have a license. I think as per my opinion, it could be a game changer and this coin has long, long way to go. So that is it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Have a good day.